Hello and welcome. Thanks for watching this video on number bases and conversion. Here we are dealing with base 10 and it should be pretty self-explanatory since you are accustomed to dealing with decimal. But when we come to hexadecimal, all we do is replace our base 10 with base 16, which means that any single position can have 16 possible symbols, which is why we have a C occurring there in the middle of the number. This will become plain in a minute. And then we go to the binary and we have base 2. We can only have two symbols, 0 or 1, in any position. And our positions go up in powers of 2 as shown. This table here now shows you the relationship between four bits of binary, the decimal equivalent, and the hexadecimal symbol that's used to refer to it. So please refer back to this table when you're looking at our conversions to come. The first thing we're going to convert is a decimal number 115 to binary. And we turn this into binary by dividing by the 2. So we do successive divisions of 2 and we take the remainder until the result is less than 2. There's the rule you can follow. You can see it there in front of you. And then we come up from the bottom to the top and we write down the binary equivalent of our decimal number. The procedure for converting decimal to hexadecimal is absolutely identical. What we do is we write down our decimal number and now we divide by 16, which is our base. The ver after the very first division, we have a, re a result that's less than 16. So we just take that result and the remainder and that is our hexadecimal equivalent of 115. Now what happens when we want to convert a hexadecimal number to binary? Well, we just take each hexadecimal digit and we write out the binary equivalent of it as shown in that table, which you can rewind and see. But when we want to convert hexadecimal to decimal, we now have to take each hexadecimal digit and multiply by its respective power of 16. So we would have 5 by 1, C, or 12 by 16, then we would have 3 by 256. And then we would simply add them all together and that would be our decimal equivalent. So you can take it slowly and go back and watch it over as many times as you like and you will see how simple it really is. Now we want to convert binary to hexadecimal. Well, once again, that's a piece of cake because we simply divide our binary into groups of four bits, as shown there, and we find out what is the equivalent. It's quite easy to see that the first four are seven, and the second four actually come to 13. But if you look back at our table, you will see that 13 is the letter D. So, in fact, D7 is the hexadecimal equivalent of 11010111. Now, we want to convert our binary to decimal, so we use the same procedure that we did before. We take the very first one on the right, and we multiply it by 1. We take the next one next to it and multiply it by 2. And we go up in the powers of 2. 
That's why you see 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. If there's a 0 in that position, then we have 0. And if there's a 1, then we have the power of 2 that corresponds to that position. And then we add them all up, and lo and behold, we have 215 in decimal. Thanks for watching this video, and please tune in for the next video on negative numbers. See you in the next video.